Hey guys, welcome to Jade Mist Gaming. Jade Mist here, and welcome to another Fay Farm tutorial where today we're going to be talking about all things bees and of course fruit trees i know you guys have been dying to figure out how to propagate these trees pop properly <laughs> propagate properly <laughs> so that is exactly what we're going to do today where we're going to work on getting our fruit trees into our seasonal fruits and we're going to work on a lot of other things that have to do with bees now there's two kind of bees in the game there's going to be a worker bee and a queen bee and you're gonna want tons and tons of all of these. Yes, queen bees included. You're gonna want a bunch of them. And you're not gonna need as many queen bees as you do worker bees, but you are gonna need quite a few queen bees with everything that we're gonna do today. So where do you get these bees? All you have to do is basically run around, look for some bees and catch those bees with, of course, your net. In your Fey world, there's a really good hot spot here. And look, we have a queen bee. Sometimes right here, you will find a bunch of worker bees, but look, we just got lucky and we found ourselves a queen bee. And as of course, as you can tell, she has a crown on her head. That's how we know she is a queen. So let's go ahead and grab her. Now there is one specific spot in the Fey world where you are guaranteed to get one bee every two minutes and that's every two hours in game. So you want to come down this bridge, go down to this little area. Sometimes you'll see one right here, but not very often. But if you continue going downwards, you're going to see one always never fails right here. You see this little bee right in front of this little tree you will always see this bee. Now keep track of the time that we have in the in-game. It's 1.13, let's grab this bee, 1.16 actually. So we got this bee at 1.16 in-game. We're gonna come back here in two exact minutes, which is two hours in the game, and you're gonna see that that bee respawns. You cannot be on the screen while it is respawning. Okay, it's past the 316 mark, let's come back down, and boom, we got ourselves another bee. So there you go, guys. Now, bees can do various things for you in Fae Farm. They can make you money, they can give you tasty food, and of course, they can unlock hidden seasonal fruit trees, which we know that's why you're here, right? But before we can dive right into all those beautiful fruit trees that you're looking for, you're going to need tons of these bees and I highly doubt that you're going to want to spend your game days running around looking for all of these bees all over your valley. So let me show you a neat little trick that helps you get hundreds upon hundreds of bees in a matter of minutes. So what you want to do is not this, this right here. We want a whole bunch of propagation hives put together so that we can actually capture and catch a bunch of bees. I have nine of them set up here, but you can add more if you want. So how do we capture bees? Well, you're going to want to come over here and go to your potions and you want to craft yourself the jar of bees. You're going to need one worker bee and one bug juice for this jar. If you want to go for the medium jar, you can use the same thing, a worker and bug juice, and you will also need nectar. Now, nectar you can get from the fey creatures. They give you nectar when you put them into the animal conservatory. So highly recommended you get that if you want the medium potion for the bees. I don't think it's worth using a queen bee for one of these large ones, but if you do want to use it, if you have a million queen bees, go for it. There's no way to capture queen bees other than going out and hunting them. So again, they're very valuable, very rare to get. So going down to the regular potion, we're just going to use a regular small jar of bees. So go ahead and craft your potions, bring your potion over, set your little setup here. You're going to need nine little queen bees. Just keep in mind that every single time you use a potion, you're going to get only one bee out of that potion and one bee per propagation hive. I have a little fence right here and a little fence right here because just like you saw in the intro of this video, you're going to see my character run scared out of her mind from the bees. So we don't want her running off over here. We don't want her running off over here. We want these propagation hives to capture the bees. So if you're not around the hives, when you let go of the bees, they're not going to catch them. So you want to kind of position yourself where you're going to be stuck. So we're going to take the potion. And we're just going to drink it and we're going to sit here and wait for all of our hives to gather 
all of our bees. You'll see up here on the top left corner, a little countdown showing you how long this little potion is gonna last. And here you go, you have one bee in your propagation hive. And this is in every single propagation hive. If you click on all of them, you will get one. You can capture nine bees per propagation hive. So if you have nine propagation hives, you'll capture 81 bees with nine potions. And if you continue doing this, and if you have more propagation hives, you can go into the hundreds with those potions. So tons and tons of potions, gather as many bees as you can. Then you're gonna come in here and you're just gonna grab them and claim them out of each single hive. Now, once you have all of these hundreds and hundreds of bees after using your jar of bees, it's time to put these bees to work and get you some seasonal fruit trees. So let's come over here and let's look at this little setup. As you can see, I have a sapling already growing right here. This sapling happens to be peach. It's not a seasonal crop. So it's coming from this peach tree going down here. So what I did was I set up three propagation hives. You don't have to put three. You could just put one if you wanted to. So what you wanna do is fill up every single one of these propagation hives. Go ahead and fill it up so you don't have to worry about it over the next nine days and just wait until your tree propagates. So you're gonna place one tree. If you look here, if you hover over your propagation hive, you're gonna see that there's a little grid or a little box that kind of hovers over your trees. If your tree is highlighted and glistening like that, that means this propagation hive is in the range of this tree. If you wanna use four of them, you're gonna need to space them out into four corners like this. And the best way to remember where this grid is, is go into build mode while you're hovering over so that this grid stays. See how if I walk away while I'm not in build mode, you won't see the grid. But if you're in build mode after hovering, boom, you can still see the grid. Even if I walk away from the grid, I can still see the grid. So if I wanna come over here and grab one of my trees, uh, peach tree, there you are. And let's go put it over here. And there you go. So you can have four trees per corner to raise your odds. So I went an entire year, as you can see, I'm on year eight since the last video, I have been really busy into this game. So I went ahead and it went a full year each season, propagating every single tree that I can propagate to see which ones are gonna produce the most for you. What I found was that it's, it is random. There are, it's very hard to tell when a sapling is gonna spawn. It is completely random, however, it is better when you have multiple trees. So four trees with three hives produces results almost daily you'll get saplings. You can even set up another section of this and have two areas of this going if you wanted to. That's what I did. I had one section here and then I had another one over here. Now you're probably gonna ask me, Jade, why on earth would you do it twice? Well, that's easy. I was experimenting propagating solely the base tree that you can buy from the vendor and then I also propagated the seasonal trees by themselves. And oh my goodness, the results are insane. Let me sleep the day so that it's not nighttime and we'll go in during the daytime to look at all this. All right, the day has reset and look, another sapling. So this is the sapling that we spawned yesterday. And now we have a new sapling right here. Let's go see what it is. It's a peach. So again, you are breeding out a peach tree and most likely you are gonna get a lot of peaches when you're just breeding peach trees, but you will still get a cherry tree. You do not need to breed out a peach tree with any other fruit tree to get a cherry tree. It's just completely random. These are all the trees that you can get here. You have an apple tree, you have a pear tree, you have a peach tree, and you have a plum tree. So these are the four base trees that you can get from the vendor Willow over at Town Center. He is the only vendor that sells trees. Now, once you do get a cherry, I highly recommend you take out one of your peach trees and you put that fully grown cherry tree in place of that peach tree. If you breed out a cherry tree instead of the peach tree you're gonna get tons and tons of more cherries so i did an experiment where i only bred the peach trees and out of all of the peach trees in one month i got a total of about maybe i think it was about four or five cherry trees not too bad 
and it was enough for me to be able to put four cherry trees on my other side. So then on the second experiment, I put four cherry trees on each section here and the results were insane. I got about 20 plus cherry trees just breeding out four cherry trees with three propagation hives. So if you want to put a peach tree and a cherry tree and breed out both of them so you can get more peaches and more cherries, that will be very optimal. But if you're just looking for cherries, that's all you want and you figured you could just buy these over from the vendor, you can do that too. I wouldn't waste my money buying them once I know that I can propagate them, but you can just breed out all of your cherries. Grab four cherry trees, put them around and you'll get saplings. And I'm gonna go ahead and move these. You can move these trees by going into build mode and you can move them over here. I have a little dump section where I put the trees and I let them grow and I take the fruit. Or you can reclaim them. Let's say you wanna come here, reclaim it. It gives you a peach sapling. You will not lose your seeds, y'all. You can put them into your build mode or into your inventory and you can go into farming. You see how it has all of these? These are not the fruits, these are the saplings. You can come over here and plant an orange sapling if you wanted to. It's not gonna produce fruit in the spring, but it will grow to a tree form and once summer hits, those oranges will come out. Let's sleep the day and let's see if we get a cherry slap. And there you go, guys, now that we added a cherry tree into the mix, look, we got two new saplings. Let's see which ones they are. This one is a peach and this one, what is it? It's a cherry, we got ourselves a cherry. So now you can just come over here where you can reclaim it or you can move it over to whatever side you want. Now notice I am not replenishing my bees. You do not need to keep this completely full for it to work. This will work with just one single bee inside your propagation hive. So I have heard before that these hives do need to be fully stocked for it to fully work, but that is not true. I got three saplings at one point with only one bee inside my hive. Okay, so what I set up here was I put the pear tree over here, which you can only get in the summer. I put the apple tree, which you can get in the autumn and the cherry tree, which is the spawn over here in spring, and a plum tree, which you can only get in the winter. Well, the fruit will spawn in the winter. So if you plant these trees off season, they will not grow the fruit until the season is here. The fruit will stay on the tree all year long. So that's what makes it so magical. Let's go to sleep and let's see if we get any of these non-fruit seasonal trees in the non-season all right it's a rainy day let's see if we got anything oh my goodness look at that so we had one bee inside the hive each hive remember so let's go see what we got from this one we got an apple tree in the spring using an apple tree oh my lanta let's see what we got over here and we got a pear tree in the non-pear season y'all mind blown so even though we are in spring if you put out a pear tree you will get a pear so it doesn't matter what season you are in you can breed out whatever tree you want and let's sleep again and see what happens and look at that we got two more saplings let's see what they are so this one is an orange oh my lanta and this one it's an apricot y'all confirmed you do not have to be in the season of the actual fruit tree for them to breed out in that season now you do need to be in the season for the actual fruit to bloom on your tree but again like i said before you don't have your trees losing your fruit at the end of the season so if you keep the fruit on your trees you will always be able to breed that out look at that so two saplings with two off season trees now we're going to move over to these beehives beehives can make you honeycombs and honeycombs can make you honey for food or it can make you a ton of money so what i did here is i set up 10 hives so you will need 10 queen bees make sure you fence in your area because we are going to use the jar of hearts so i am jar of hearts <laughs> the jar of bees <laughs> You're going to sit here and just let them collect 
So you'll need 16 potions for a 10 hive grid. Once you collect all the honeycomb from all these 10 hives, you're going to have 320 honeycombs that you can then in turn bring over to your artisan table and you can turn this into beeswax. Then you can sell that in the market or over here on your stalls and you can make a total of 3,250 florin with 320 honeycomb. And you can do that daily and get some pretty decent money. All right, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell. Let me know in the comments below how many tree saplings did you get? What did you do for your setup? How much did you set up for your propagation hives and your honey? I want to know. Tell me if this was useful. And I also want to know what kind of guide do you guys want to see next? I'd love hearing your suggestions in the comments. So let me know what is the next guide you want. All right, guys, until the next time, happy gaming. Bye.